And people love that back timeline. But in making the platform conception flexible, there's a trade-off in data freshness and battery, especially if the user installs hundreds of applications. So, in the spirit of improving the core experience, we're changing Android and M to smarter about managing power through a new feature we call Dose. Now, many of us have first to user platforms with our devices, especially with tablets. For example, you might leave your tablet on your coffee table or your nightstand all day, only to pick it up and use it to read a book or watch a movie in the evening. With M, Android uses significant motion detection to learn if a device has been left unattended for an extended period of time. In that case, it will exponentially back off background activity to go into a deeper sleep state. So what we're doing is we're trading off a little bit of app freshness for longer battery life. And we call it dozing because while the device is asleep, it's still possible for the device to trigger real-time alarms or to respond to incoming chat requests through high-priority messages. So how well does this work? Well, we took two Nexus 9s and we put Lollipop on one and M on the other. And then we loaded both up with the same account with lots and lots of applications. We put the two devices side by side and measured power. And I'm happy to say that we're seeing devices with M lasting up to two times longer than Snapchat. <laughs> of course, no matter how much better we make power management on Android, sooner or later, we got to recharge our device. So we wanted to improve that too. So we've been heavily involved in creating a new uh, USB Type-C standard. And Type-C ushers in a new way of charging that works across hardware, from cell phones to tablets to laptops and everything in between. And it means we're going to start seeing really fast charging of devices as standard, anything from three to five times faster. 